All the drawings are based on one story. The story is called The Monastery of the Heavenly Forest, but it doesn't start with a monastery, and the monastery actually isn't a monastery at all. It starts with a place called The Last City, which is kind of falling apart, and everyone's there to basically are called either skyscraper workers or administrators. And then there's a group that finds some books, and they head off across a moat to the forest and they build a monastery based on the vision of one person. But their monastery isn't based on religion, it's based on art and productivity of art. So when they're there, they're quite happy until some problems arise. And it, they believe it's the city is kind of getting back at them some revenge by sending in different sort of animals and people to attack them, but it turns out that it's just one villain called the Hypnotist. And the Hypnotist has very limited powers. Really all he can do is hypnotize people, but it turns out to be enough. And he also has another um, skill, which is knife throwing. So once he hypnotizes people, he turns them into what are called knife throwers. And he makes them wear a mask and then he teaches them how to throw knives and then they serve as the guardians or protectors of this mysterious place called the Blue Fort. The Blue Fort has within it a big apple orchard. And so essentially there's a bunch of people trying to get to the Blue Fort and then the knife throwers are there to dissuade them with violence. So that's basically it. And then um, there's a romance that's bubbling underneath because essentially what has happened is that the original person who led this rebel community out of the city and to build the monastery in the first place started calling himself the saint and he was really interested in electricity so he made jetpacks and theremins and he was really into watercolors but then he kind of went mad and decided that he needed to sort of burn himself at the stake and he thought somehow by burning himself at the stake this would burn the city to the ground and when he died he changed that vision and said instead of burning the city to the ground let's go there and turn the city into in the factories into productions of art instead of productions of nonsense and then he gave the power over to a woman called the Second Saint, and she took over. And the reason you see her is she's always wearing black. But she fell in love with a skyscraper worker from the city. So the rest of the story is kind of a romance, them trying to find out who the villain is, who's known as the hypnotist, and they're trying to build their little, you know, idealistic community while they're being constantly threatened by the city. The Party Morris House is one of the oldest buildings still standing in New Haven. The estate dates back to uh, the 1640s, which is shortly after New Haven was established. It's one of the first estates here on, in Morris Cove, which is obviously named after the family. Everything surrounding this house belonged to the family and was part of the estate. We've been operating it here for the last couple of years and bringing back different activities. This is the fourth art show I've done here. We've done different shows once a year. Some have a longer duration. This one in particular has a one day special event duration. And we just like to mix it up and have a different juxtaposition in a, in a very unique spot here in New Haven.